time and I can see that you're a very, very humble person. Um, what would you say gives you inspiration in life? Is it your parents or bringing education? What would you point out and say, this is my strength? I'm very happy you mentioned this. It's simply from my parents. My father of blessed memory, uh, my name is Mbata. It's a very well household name in my area there. And he's been a teacher, a great disciplinarian. Just mention his name. That is all what everybody will remember him for. He has he's been a teacher to the greatest people you can remember. You can see, I don't want to say it myself. But there are so many. Therefore, I was brought up right, right by him and in front of him. And uh, I, my maternal side also is like that from the Cardi uh, background. And therefore, left, right, and center, I have this uh, discipline that I had to. But another thing that made me to be humble, to succeed, to ensure that I maintain my integrity is the fear that I will fail my parents because of the teachings, the legacy they have set for us. For me to one, once go and find out that something bad has been heard about me in the course of my work, it's impossible. I can tell you, whenever I went to my father, when I started work at 7.45, he won't answer my greetings. The reason I should, I should have been my, in my house by 7.30 in the morning. If I wouldn't be there by 6, 6.30, let me come after office. If I had come to spend anything beyond my income, he would ask me how to do anything that. If I am improperly dressed, he will query and question. If I, I, if I don't greet his friends, there are some of the friends that would be my people working under me. But if I don't come and kneel down to greet them, I will just attract the greatest annoyance from him. So you can see with that natural, probably also one's own nature. I feel that there is no reason why you should not be humble. There shouldn't be any reason why you should always pompous and uh, show yourself. Showing yourself, try to do what, what best you can. Try to have the best modest, you know, uh, modest uh, presentation of yourself. I think that's all what I, I have experienced a lot of what you are saying. When people are waiting to see me in Oman, and they see me, sometimes they're even disappointed. <laughs> but uh, that's, uh, but I, I, I think I'm, I'm glad that uh, this has happened. And uh, I can see you're very busy, well traveled. Do you have time to relax? If you do, what do you do for relaxation? What I do during my leisure time is mixing up and always discussing with my family, my children, my wife, my family. But then I do some exercise. I do a lot of treadmilling. I, you can see even bike. Sometimes I do go out and do some of some my children. I walk. Then, but uh, mostly I travel. And I enjoy it. And I, I enjoy yes. it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what would you want to be remembered for? Yes, to come looking back, reflection. What would you point out and say, I'd like to be remembered for that? I always want to be remembered that I have accomplished my career in civil service with all the dedication and discipline and did all the contributions I have done. I can single out many. But so many people have done that for me. So I will just want to be remembered by those that are uh, behind, that let them improve even on the legacy of dedication to duty, humility, and service to one's own nation and community. Because that is the only way that we can be able to succeed. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you very much for coming to the program. Thank you very much. It's great. It's a pleasure.